i'll never forget the first time i pulled up to the gate at the naval air station at pensacola florida i began to feel that special something that sets a naval aviator apart from everyone else this is the gateway to naval aviation headquarters for the naval air training command and it's also the home of the blue angels the navy's world famous precision flying team That's where I got my first close look at a carrier, the USS Lexington. Later during flight training, I knew I'd be landing on her deck, and I really looked forward to it. I'd always wanted to fly, and now I was ready to begin my training as so many other Navy pilots had done before me. This is where you check in for Aviation Officer Candidate School? This is Ed. You waiting too? I'm Dave Rogers, University of Oklahoma. Joe Carpenter, Syracuse. Football? Yeah. Me too. Scholarship? Yeah, sure came in handy. We'd have never made it otherwise. You're uh, married then? Two years now. She'll fly now when I get my commission. I've already got an apartment lined up in the town. OK, Mr. Carpenter, you're all set. You'll begin AOCS tomorrow morning at 0800. Thank you, sir. See you later, sir. Now, you're next. Do you sign here for the AOC program? This is it. Join the crowd. I'm John Patton. John Graduates from colleges all over the country meet in the Aviation Officer Candidate Program at Pensacola and begin to learn what it takes to be an officer in the United States Navy. The emphasis in AOCS is on naval orientation and leadership development. It's an intensive program, only 11 weeks to steep you in nearly 200 years of naval tradition. But Joe Carpenter, John Patton, and I got right in step with it, and the time really flashed by. An important part of AOC training is physical fitness. That came easily for Carpenter and me, but for Patton, well... 78! Come on, too slow! Come on, Patton, too slow! All the way up! 79! Then, it was all over. A big military review was held. graduated and were commissioned as ensigns in the United States Navy. As commissioned officers, we could live off base. Joe Carpenter and his wife settled down in an apartment. Patton and I decided to room together in the BOQ, Bachelor Officer's Quarters. John obviously excelled in one area, at least. I remember thinking being friends with him might lead to some interesting associations at Pensacola. As it turned out, Patton and I began a friendship here that I'm sure will last. In fact, by the time I had finally finished training and joined my squadron, I found that one of the greatest rewards of being a naval aviator is being part of a team of outstanding men.